Alright, so, uh, <clears throat> completely new game here. Uh, I'm gonna try Thomas Was Alone. Very interesting looking game. I don't know why Resume is an option. I don't have a game. This is the first time I'm launching it. I'm actually just discovering now that it's uh, controller compatible, because I tried to, and it's working. So we're gonna fire up a new game and see what happens. It looks quirky and interesting, and uh, the program was a failure. People forget this. It was a massive flop. The coders started adding names, name strings to the AIs as a joke. Thomas AT twenty three six twelve wasn't special. Ah, what I was was alone. Wow, a weird first thought to have. Okay. So I'm this dude, and I'm moving. Okay. Looks like I need to get to the box at the bottom. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Hmm. Interesting. So that square or rectangle, I guess, is a portal. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to. What's the word? Jump. Oh, well, that's what I'm doing. It worked! Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. <laughs> okay. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. <laughs> okay. Very interesting so far. I kind of want to turn the graphics up a bit. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Uh, the only reason I say that is because I can... Something to suspect. It might even be doing so on purpose. saying, I can see the edges of uh, various things, and I just wanted to uh, look a little better. Anyway, I want this. Because it's a Chivo, I think. Yes! This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. No! Ah! It had been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. I like the shadows and how they work. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. Hmm. Pass through respawn point. Urgh. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. Stop interrupting me. Pass through respawn points to save a character's progress. Okay. 
I guess this is a respawn point. So if I die... Oh, look at that! Okay, very good. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. I just realized I'm not talking too much. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. I like the narrator. He's kind of like the narrator from the Stanley Parable. If you've ever played that. And it's odd that I'm feeling bad for Thomas, even though he's just a just a rectangle. Oh, fuck. 